and then roll it up slowly. Roll the shoulders back and around. We're gonna use weights or not. You don't have to use the weights for any of uh, the, the lower body exercises, certainly, but of course, if you'd like to, go ahead and grab them. If you want to put a band above your thighs, you can the entire time. Um, it'll just make your range of motion shorter, but who cares? Um, that's up to you. So let's go ahead and pick up some weights. The first thing we're gonna do is a side-to-side -side squat. In fact, I might just use one weight for these, and I'll hold it the long way. So we're gonna squat right side first, then left side. Just come along with me for the counts. All right, grab a weight or two weights in your hands at your shoulders, at your thighs. Let's get ready. All right, here we go. In four, three, step to your right side first into a squat. So we squat down, come back, squat left. That's one. See if you can get your elbows to your thighs. This is gonna be two. Good, three. So we're only gonna do one round per exercise today, but we have five different exercises per body parts. Okay, so the legs get a little complicated because there's a lot of things happening in there. Seven, good. Bring it to eight. Nice, slow, and controlled. Keep your torso upright, this is nine. We have 15 of these. That would be 15 sets, that would be 30 squats. 10. 10. Oh, there's a bird fight out there. 11. <laughs> 11. Saying, get out of my tree. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. Don't give up, guys. If you're not squatting, you're still doing that mobility. 15. Or even some bridging, although we do bridges later. And that's it. All right. So, same thing, but we'll make it a lunge to the right side. So you're going to step out to the right side, step back in, step out to the left side. So this time, one leg is straight, one leg is bent. Hold on to your weights or weight. And again, if you're not doing a big lunge, stepping out certainly, getting that movement in the hip, the knee, just getting, getting a little joint mobility. All right, weights up. Right side first in three. In two, here we go. One, and other side. Two, I'm trying to get in the camera. Two. So one leg is bent. One leg is straight as the hips go back. And don't exceed your ankle. Four. Good. Five. If you have issues with your knees, don't make it so deep, yeah? Six. But keep the weight behind the knee. Okay, that's really important. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep going. Niche. Nine. Keep your torso upright. 10. I have a shorter movement here because I have more, less space. 11. Looking good, guys. 12. Good, Rob. 13. So remember, movement is important. If you don't do the exact movement we're doing, Cares. 14. One more time. Each side. 15. And done. Good. All right. Two down, three to go in the leg series. One weight is good here again. Take your feet a little bit wider than hips. Turn the toes open, hips open. I'm going to hold my weight in between. So this will be 15. Plie squats, if you want, just do a calf raise if you're not doing a squat, or just do that little um pa pa. All right, in four, three, two, here we go. One, now if you have a weight hanging like me, let it touch the ground too. 
three, without using your back, four, good, five. I want you to feel the weight in the heels, six, so that the heels drive you up, or the glutes drive you up, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is shorter, we only got five more. Five, try to get your thighs parallel to the floor, four, don't move your torso, three, two more, last one everybody, is one. Good, okay. So now we have a split squat on the right, then we have a split squat on the left. So again, if you're not doing the split squat, you might just be doing small little movements or be bringing enough for a calf raise. What I'm gonna do with this split squat is I'm just gonna do a little rotational twist with my weight. Right leg forward, left leg back, we go. One, two, cross the body, three, four, five. Those of you who can, go deep. Six, seven, you know who you are. Eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, oh no, not one more. 12, three more, 13, 14, 15, change. Opposite side with the weight, left leg forward, right leg back, as wide a stance as you can accommodate, dropping that back knee 90 degrees to the floor. Three, two, we go. One, two, three, four, drive into that front heel, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, five more guys. Five, get that rotation too. Four, for your abdominals, obliques, three, two, and one. Good work guys. Shake it out, let it go. All right, you'll need a band for the next, during the next set. So grab it, have it nearby. The first thing we do is just a good old fashioned bent over row. You can change the position of your shoulders. Palms can face in, palms can face down, or palms can even face up. So I want you to choose your poison, right? As they say. All right, big muscle group, bigger muscles, bigger weight, if you can, good. You can keep your band on your thighs. We're gonna be using them in our hands, but you can keep them there for now. All right, keep it there, good. A little extra help never hurt, right? All right, hands down in front of your thighs, bend your knees, bring your chest and torso parallel to the floor. Two weights in three, two, let's go. 15, 14, squeeze your shoulders together. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, put those weights down please. You're gonna use lighter weights most likely for your rear delts. If those weights were like five pounds, I would say try it. But if they were 15 pounds, I would say go lighter. All right, we've got 15 rear delts. Same position with your torso, so give yourself a stretch. Then come on back to parallel in four, three, two, let's go. 15, 14, now remember, if you stand up, this becomes a different exercise. 12, 11, 10, nine, good, eight, no traps, seven, good, six, yeah, this is when everybody can do five, awesome. Four, three, two, and one. All right, put those weights down. Grab your band. Um, either band will work. I'm gonna use these uh, rubbery ones as opposed to the fabric ones for this particular. So if you have two, you can keep one on your thighs. All right, so. Hands come inside the bands, arms are up, 
I want you to keep the resistance against the band the whole time. So you're never going slack on the band. And all we're going to do is bring that band down to our collarbones. As we come down, we squeeze our shoulder blades together. And then as we come up, we release it. We've got 15 of those. Ready? Arms up. Four, three, two. Keep pulling apart. One, and up. Two, squeeze everything. Keep your shoulder blades out uh, or your shoulders away from your ears. Three, and up. Four, bring it right in front of your collarbones. Five, as if you were doing a lat pull down on a cable machine or a lat pull down machine. Seven, say you're worth it. Eight, nine, 10, five more, five, I just heard a strange noise, four, that freaks me out a little bit, three, you might see me run really quick, two, one more, squeeze your shoulders together, now pull back, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, squeeze, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Good. All right. Don't do it behind your head. Do it in front of you if you can. All right. Keep that band nearby. Actually, let's go ahead and use it in a standing position. So step on your band with two hands. Uh, two feet, but one foot is fine, actually. Two hands, one foot is what I should say. All right. Bend your back knee so it doesn't matter which foot is in. If you have both feet in, if you have both feet in, you'll have more resistance. By the way, if you have bands with handles, they work perfectly here, okay? So if you have those, feel free to use those. All right, stepping on with one or two feet. Arms are underhand, or palm is underhanded grip. Bend your knees, we're just gonna roll back 15 times. Chest up, hips back in four, three, two, let's go. 15, 14, now, I was nice to you. 12, I had something else designed there, 10, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, you want to try to have a good sturdy band, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, take the band off, grab a mat, we're going to quickly go down to the floor, so if you have um, a band with handles, just wrap the band underneath your foot a couple times to secure it underneath the bottom of your foot. On this one, we're going to wrap it around the bottom of the foot. We're going to find it here again later. Legs are bent a little bit and keep the feet wide. All right? Any grip that feels good to you will work. Start to slide your legs out in front of you. Good. All right, we're gonna pull those elbows back and by us. Sit in front of your sitting bones. In four, three, two, we pull one, two, three. So now we're like in a seated cable rope. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze close together. Eight, nine, 10, just five more, five, four, Three, two, hold it back on one, and extend it out. Lean forward and stretch. Take the band off. Um, let's see, you can put it around your legs and keep it there if you'd like. We're gonna come back to it on the floor in a few moments. So first, we're moving on to some hamstring work. So we're gonna start with deadlifts. Traditional two-legged deadlift, soft knees, chest up, hips back. So grab the weights that you think you can accommodate for that movement. Um, the first one is on the f up, 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 and the rest are on the floor for this one. So bend your knees to pick up your weights. Stand up nice and tall. All right, so remember, it's not a squat. It's a hip hinge, torso trunk flexion. Three, two, on my count, go. One, two, three, four. Come up slowly. When you come up, roll those shoulders back and around. Drive through your heels. One, two, 
three. Good. So I'm trying to get you to go down slower than you usually do. Three, two, three. So it's about four counts to get down to the floor. Don't let your back round. Four. Stick your chest out. Stick your hips out. And come on up. Here comes number five. One, two. Don't run those shoulders, Rand. And break it up. One, two, three. Good. Six, two, three, four. Again, drive through the heels so the back of the body is doing the work. Seven, two, three. Good. If you're rounding your shoulders, you're looking down to the floor. You're going to have that rounded spine. Good. All right, we're just halfway there. We're on the downside. Nine. And come all the way up. And ten. Three. Four down. Good. Four more. Eleven. Nice slow stretch. Lots of work in the back of that body. Twelve. Come on up. Three more. Thirteen. Two more, please. Come up slow. One more time. Really nice and slow. Good. Two, three, four. Come up. Two, three, and four. Good. All right. Either hand. You don't need your weights right now on the floor unless you'd like to put a weight on your pelvis for your bridges. Okay? Um, I'll turn myself a little bit to the corner. So maybe... Oh, yeah, the same exercise without the band. Yeah, yeah, you don't need... <laughs> All right, we'll talk about that later, Michelle. We'll get you another band. All right. You could... Um... Man, yeah, not with this one. I was going to say you could use a towel, but it's not going to really help on this one. So, everybody, come on down to the floor. Whatever band you choose to use, put it above your knees. Again, you don't, uh, Michelle, if you don't have the band and you have the ball nearby, you can use the ball even. All right, but this is going to be a um, single leg lift. So the ball is going to come between your legs and the legs are going to be in the air and don't drop the ball is the key, right? All right, so on your back, everybody, tilt your pelvis. Legs are further, actually, we're going to do a regular bridge first. Yeah, I remember this. But I want your legs further away from, remember, we're in hamstrings now. So I want your legs further away from you than, like, right up close to your glutes. So way away from 90 degrees. Top of the shoulders and hips uh, and shoulder blades rest in the floor. Good. You can also dig your heels into the floor and lift your toes. So we've got 15 bridges with our legs further away from us. One. Two. You still articulate the spine. Three. Four. The further away the legs are, the more hamstrings you get. Five. But it may put more tension on your back, so if that's not for you, don't do that. Seven. You can also have your arms off the floor, but shoulders in. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one more. Good. Hug those knees into the chest. Now we have, excuse me. Um, I lied. We do need a weight, but we don't need it right now. So just, um, I'll give you a second. I don't like to lie to you. Okay. So now, same position with your feet, but one leg is in the air, so we isolate one side of the body, okay? So right leg in the air, knee by knee. It can be a little higher for this one. Left leg is out in front of you. Maybe your heel is lifted. Three, two, go. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Secure your abdominals. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, you should feel this. Six, five, if you don't, let me know. Four, even if you're not using a band, you're gonna feel this. Two more, one more, and one more. Good, bring it in, stretch it out just a little bit. So if you're feeling this warm in your back, just give yourself a little hug to the chest. All right, right leg on the floor, left leg is gonna come up. You're on your heel, maybe, 
and your leg is maybe a little further away. Ready? In three, two, go. 15, 14, 13. Brace your abdominals, but don't hold your breath. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug those knees into your chest. Take a quick spinal twist. Go ahead and grab your um, one heavy weight. One is all you need for now. The hard part of this exercise is getting the, the weight where you need it. So you're going to be on your belly. I like to start on my knees and then get the weight where I need it. You can have it between your ankles. So if you're concerned that you're um, not going to hold on to that weight, keep it light or don't even use the weight. Then I want you to roll down onto your belly, chin on your hands, squeeze your glutes. You got me from the back end. Curl your heels to your buttocks, 15. Ready? Here we go. Curl in. One, two, sweet. Now keep pushing your pelvis down. Three, back, four, back. I just want to take a look at you guys. Five, good. Work at keeping your pelvis down onto the floor. Six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. I just my my weight came out when I changed. Eleven. Try to keep your chin to your hands. I'm just looking up so I can see you. Twelve. Thirteen. Keep pushing your pubic bone down. Fourteen. One more. Squeeze, 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 and release it. Sit back on your heels. Give your back a stretch as well. Ooh. Hands come underneath, stand up, do a quick little forward fold, move that weight off to the side because I'm sure you're going to need it again, and roll all the way up. All right, take your time. So you can keep your bands on again if they really make you feel happy. Feel free to keep them on. Otherwise, I'm going to keep them on the floor because that's eventually where we'll be using them again. Um, do we have, uh, we might have a band standing coming up. All right, on to biceps. 15 curls. Do you want to do opposite arms? Sure, but then you do 16, please. So 15 curls, then we go to hammers, then we open our arms out. So you might have to play with the weights, change the weight because it's a lot of bicep movements. So get your weights for your biceps. Get ready. Teacher's going to sneeze. Give me one second. <coughs> Can't help it on live TV, it happens. All right, ready, set, three, two, bicep curls, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, again, brace your abdominals, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, good. Six, make sure you're not throwing your body. Five, four, three, two more. Two, and one. Good, let it go for a second, just take a break. Okay. Hammer curls, two weights together or go alternating for 16. All right, try to get your best weight in there. Be going four, three, two, hammer time. One, two, three, the temptation is to do this. Four, don't do that. Five, keep it close to you. Six, if you need to use your hips, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, four, three, two, and one.
Good, put those weights down carefully. You can use the same weights. You might want to go a little bit lighter. We're going to rotate the palms open, so our shoulders open, and we're going to do curls on the side. All right, so we clip in a closed shoulder, neutral, both ways, maybe a little bit. Now we open up the shoulder. You got 15 of those. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Open up that shoulder. Six, unless you've got an injury. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Put those weights down on the floor next to your mat because you're going to need them. Michelle, you're going to just get two weights and come in close and do curls like a concentration curl. Everybody with a band, put the band under your foot, one or two. We'll do the same thing Michelle's doing. All right? So we're going to turn the palms around. Actually, if you stepped on it with the right foot for your rows, it'll make it even. Put it on the left foot. All right. Bend the knees. So get your feet wider and use it like a concentration curl, but it's two arms at once. All right? So bend the back knee or the right leg. Bend both knees. Curl up in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13. You can sit in a squat. 12, 11, 10, abdominal strong, 9, don't round your back, 8, 7, 6, 5, you're almost there, 4, 3, 2, 1, awesome, all right, take some weights nearby because I think we're done with our standing exercises and we'll be down on the floor for the rest of the stuff, so we're not done yet. Take your, your weights, back to weights. So yes, thank you. Adjust your, um, your uh, cameras for me so I can see you. Get your water in a towel nearby because I think this is our home for a while. All right, here we go. We've got either a full sit up with a bicep curl or just a lean back, maybe a half sit up with a bicep curl or maybe you're just gonna lean back and do a bicep curl. All right, so check out the weights. They'll get heavy on your arms and you'll feel these tomorrow. And you can just send a little text of thank you. All right, on your back, if you're going on your back. If a full sit up is not gonna happen for you, then just go halfway from sitting down, halfway down. In three, two, let's go. One, curl. Actually, curl on the way up, too. Three. You can do it either way. Four. Five. Just one way is going to feel more natural to you. Six. Doesn't matter which way it is. Seven. Make sure you're scooping out your belly. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Are you on a ball, Randy? Is that you? You're on a, are you, were you on a ball? I can't tell who's on, who's on my bottom there. Let me just see. Oh, no. And that was Sarah. Okay, I couldn't tell. Where's Randy? Okay, there you go. It looks like you're on a ball, but I couldn't tell. All right, guys. Moving onward and upward. Back to a lower body. Nope, upper body. We're gonna stick with um, just a good old fashioned chest press today. Right over your chest. If you're on something that inclines you, then it's over your collarbones. Um, chest press flies. Almost all of our traditional chest exercises that we can do in a fitness, group fitness class at home with weights, right? All right, so if you wanna put a band around your thighs, go ahead and be, bring the band around your thighs. You can be in a bridge for all the exercises you can be on the floor for all the exercises or your legs can be in the air. So everybody sit up and grab your weights and then take them with you. I like to imprint my spine. Pull the belly into the spine, the ribs down to the hips. 
Take the arms in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two. Now I know some of you felt your chest from the other day. Three, that's okay. Four, five, gave it a day in between. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, just five more. We'll take a short break in between side, uh, in between exercises. Three, two, and one more. Good, all right. Quick stretch, open up the chest and arms. When you take this, the weights with you up, you take them down that way. Try not to bay on your back and reach for your weights. It's just, it's so much stress on your shoulder. All right, now we have traditional flies. Bring the weights with you, legs up or down in a bridge, in four, three, soft elbows, here we go. One, and bring it in. Two, now notice if your back starts to pooch out. Three, bring the ribs down towards the hips. Bring the belly into the spine. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, five more, gang. Hang on here, I know you know these, we did them the other day. Four, three, two, and one more. Good, come on up, quick stretch. Open up your chest. Pullovers, so I like to use a heavy weight, two heavy weights, some of you will use one heavy weight. The arms, if you're on the floor, are going to touch the floor. Then you bring them back right over your chest, maybe over your belly, okay? There's no action in the elbows. Don't extend and straighten. They just pull back and forth, all right? So on your back, soft knees again. Soft arms, I should say. Knees are bent for me. We go in four, three, two. Let's go. One, bring it up. Two. Bring it up. Keep your abdominals in so your back is a little bit more neutral. Four, and up. Five, or imprinted for some. Six, seven, eight, are you holding your breath? Don't do that. Nine, Good, keep the arms straight, Joe. Don't bend your elbows, just pull the arms overhead. So the elbows don't bend and straighten. Good, I, I lost my count. So I'm gonna do three more, I think. Three, two, and one more. Good, we're back up. All right, so we have one more on our back, close grip chest press. Palms together, weights together. Maybe you're just using one weight. In that case, keep it right by your side. Chat around the arms, elbows in by your rib cage. Last time on our back. Ready? Here we go. In four, three, two, yeah. 15, up. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, now your triceps are feeling it again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up. Flip it around to your hands and knees. You guessed it. Push-ups. Last time for chest, or last exercise for chest. If you're not doing push-ups, any variations are welcome. You choose if you want a wide position with your shoulders, if you want a closed position, more triceps, or maybe you're just gonna hold a plank. That's up to you. you are on your knees or on the toes. I'm gonna be on my knees because my shoulder, oh, I just, um, I always accommodate on my knees for my shoulders. So, it's okay. Head to tailbone. Don't. Don't come back here and do this, okay? Try to keep your shoulders over your wrist. All right, pick your poison. Which, which hand position are you doing? Maybe you want to switch midway. 
Here we go in three, two, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12. If I'm going too fast, 11. And again, if you're not doing a push up on your knees, maybe you're on your ball, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Sit back in child's pose. Stretch it all the way out. Reach your hands forward, reach your hips back. Let's bring our knees closer and get a little deeper into that back. Maybe you'll feel a little bit deeper and stretch across the lower back. All right, round yourself up. All right, gang, we're back to our bands if you have them. Ball if you'd like. Neither are necessary. You've got your body weight. But we're going to do some bridges. So if you'd like to have a weight on your pelvis, that's okay. I recommend above your knees. You can take them below your knees, but never on your knees, okay? So the first one is going to be just your good old fashioned bridge. Now, earlier we did them with our legs wider or further apart for our hamstrings. This one we're gonna work focus back into the, the glutes a little bit more. So the feet are a little bit closer. Pull your shoulder blades into the mat. Always keep resistance on the band if you're using it. If you're using the ball, it's actually the opposite. You're gonna keep the resistance on the inside right towards the ball so it doesn't bleed. Um, so you're always gonna have resistance on the band. Tilt your pelvis and keep that back on the floor for the first moment. Just scoop up your, your, your hips off the floor. Arms can be down or up in the air, whatever works for you. We're gonna go for 15 and four, three, two, let's go. One, and articulate down. Two, if you want something else, if you wanna be on your toes, you wanna to go back on your heels, four, whatever works for you. Five, squeeze and articulate. Six, seven, eight, Feel your back, middle, upper, middle, and lower. 10, 10, uh, five, excuse me. Four, three, two, last one. Good, hug those knees into your chest, just a quick little stretch. If you like, I always like to do a spinal twist after uh, bridging, it always makes me feel much better. All right, so if you bring your knees together but your band goes loose, take your, um, your feet a little bit wider apart and then turn your knees towards each other as close as you can. All right, I'm still able to get some resistance here. So 15 with our feet together in four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Another thing you can do is put your feet on the ball. Two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that's then it'll add another little dimension to your workout if that's something that you're ready to do. All right, so feet are on the floor, but knees are apart. There's a lot of resistance if you've got the band. If you have the ball, put it between your feet rather than your knees. All right, tilt your pelvis. Ready? In four, three, two, go. One, two. So my knees stay apart the whole time. I just have the resistance on the outside of the bands. Four, five, six. The tendency is going to be to drop to your lower part of your back before your, um, your waistline goes down. So try not to skip that waistline and get down to your tailbone because you'll be arching your back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees into the chest. All right, what did I write here? Ah, this may be a little challenging with the band on, so see if you can still do it. Figure four, right leg, right ankle crosses over left leg. So I want you to open up the right knee. The band is gonna kinda of wanna pull you all in different places. 
The left leg is going to go back to doing the work, but we'll keep the heel close to the buttocks. Ready? Four, three, two, here we go. Fifteen. Now, as you have your foot on the, on the knee, try to push that right leg if it's crossed. Open a little bit more. So keep that opening in the hip. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, switch legs. So open up that knee so you're creating more resistance. Flex the foot. Three, two, go. 15, 14. Don't skip that middle back. So really think about pulling your belly in and articulating your spine. Upper, mid, lower. Six, seven. One side's gonna feel completely different. Eight, nine, 10, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, hug your knees into your chest. All righty, let's see, our last set. Traditional crunch. So we are gonna use bands shortly. So if you wanna keep your bands on now, that's fine. Um, they're gonna come around the bottom of our foot later. So feel free to have your bands still stay there. Hands behind your head, feet on the floor. Tilt your pelvis, point your pubic bones to the sky. Don't pull on your neck, bring the elbows out to the side. Four, three, two, we go one, two, three, four. So I've got my spine imprinted on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your torso up. Bring your knees to the right side, hands behind your head. 15 on this side. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, Two, hold it up on one. One, bring the legs to the other side. 15 here, we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and one. Come back to center, hug those knees in. All righty. Put that band on the bottom of your feet. Don't worry, Michelle, you can still do the same exercises, right? And the good news is you can get bands like in a day on Amazon. So don't, have no fear, have no fret. All right, legs up in the air, hands behind your head. Right knee's gonna come in. And then see that my knees are bent. Left knee's going to come in. Knees are bent. Head and shoulders up. Right knee, then left knee. Good. So I'm not extending the leg out. I'm just pulling the other leg back. One. In. Two. In. Three. In. Four. Belly in, head up. Five. In, six, in, seven. So notice the difference between this and a bicycle. One leg doesn't move. Good. Last eight, and in, seven, and in. Head and shoulders up as much as you can. And in, five, and in, four, Three, two, 
two, one more. Hug your knees into your chest. Legs up in the air. Band around the bottom of the foot. Open your legs wide. Good. Open them wide again. Head and shoulders come up. Open your legs. Open, close. Two, good. Michelle, if you want to be on the ball under your sacrum, that's great here. Five, six, seven, eight. Head and shoulders up. Nine, ten. Yeah, so if you're not using a band, just keep doing the same thing. Three more. Three, two, hold it out on one. Hold it here, release your hands, either to your toes or outside of your legs, two. Three, legs apart, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Now, if you don't have a band but you have a towel, go ahead and grab the towel. Take the band around the right leg and lower your left leg to the floor. Stretch the left leg out in front of you. Hold on with two hands to the right leg. We are going to stretch our body. Right leg is straight, as straight as it can be. If it starts to um, bend, then don't go so far down. No, I'm not ready to stop this. It's asking me if I want to stop my workout, but I don't. No, I'm not done. Keep it going, I guess I am done. Take that same leg and open it out to the side without rolling off your left hip. So be conscious of what's going on in the left side. Now bring it back to center and switch hands holding on. You can also do this without a towel or a strap, right, or a band. and then back to center. Hug that right knee into your chest. Let your head and shoulders come up in round and rounded curl. Lower your head, bring both feet into the band or the towel, or if you have a strap. Good, lift your head and shoulders up again. Good, head down, right leg comes out, left leg stays in. So keep it as straight as you can. Hold on with both or one hand, up to you. Remind this right hip to stay down on the floor by putting your hand on it then, and then opening the left leg out to the side. So you don't want to lift off that right hip. You're going to lose a lot of this stretch in both directions. So try to remind yourself, don't worry if your left leg goes all the way to the floor or not. It doesn't really matter at all. You could even have your knee bent. And then come on back up. Switch the cross. Good, softly come back to center. Both legs come back into the strap. Towel, band. Both legs up, then shoulders up. Hold on to your whatever you're holding on to. Could even be your shins or your feet. Roll up into a boat pose or a teaser pose. Lift your chest up, that was tricky, I know. And then come on down to the floor and just fold over your legs. Let go of the band, take it off to the side, whatever you need to do. and then come on back up slowly. Hands and knees, tuck your toes, do a little cat-cow stretch for your back, arch it, round it, extend it, and round it. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Walk your hands to your feet. Fold over your legs, grab the arms behind the back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles up away from you. And bring the chin to your chest, come on up slowly. Bring your arms all the way up overhead. Reach up and lean to one side. Come back up and lean to the other side. Come back up, cactus your arms, lift your chest up. Good, hug your arms around, or hug your arms, your hands around your back. 
open up and switch the arms. Good, open the arms. Take a big breath in. Everybody have a great hump day. Get over that hump. Stay home safe and stay healthy.